Hey, Scott. Okay, it is finally evaluation day. Um, a little bit behind the uh, eight ball, as always, not only because I'm so busy, but I had an unscheduled medical issue last week, which always can take the wind out of one's sails. Uh, but I'm fine now, and I have your watch here running away. Oh, and thank you very much for the pretzels. As I said, they were great. Okay, so... Watch is unserviced, it is original. Numbers aren't bad. Uh, someone took the time to adjust this at some point. I mean, it's running low. Um, not super low, but it's running low. Uh, but it's got no beat error, and it's only gaining a little bit of time. So my suspicion is that someone someone with a time grapher adjusted this, because it's really, it's rare for these to show no beat error. So someone was fiddling with it, but doesn't look like they did any damage, uh, so that's fine. If you hear me yelp every now and then, that's because I'm kind of still in pain. But that's okay. I will live. Okay, so let's look at this. Uh, I'm trying to think here. I wanted to look and see if we had any... Would you focus? Uh, I don't see any servicing marks in the case back. <laughs> Um, the watch, uh, well, let's talk about the different things. The watch looks very good on the outside. Uh, on the inside, we actually, we have some pitting in the case. It's not deadly, um, but it's just something to note that this watch apparently lived in a wetter environment, uh, and was, uh, and has some pitting as a result. It doesn't look like any water got in because your movement ring spring is good, and the movement itself is unstained. Got your grease there. I mean, it looks intact. It's just I wasn't anticipating that I was going to find this kind of pitting, which is something I normally would see with a, a watch that came from the tropics, and this does not look like a tropics watch to me. I mean, based on the, the cosmetics, I mean, the watch looks great. I mean, the loom is a little grayed out, but nothing major. And those are original hands with original loom. The dial is unfaded. The sweep hand is unfaded. I think the case has been polished a little bit. And as has the bracelet. It's been rebrushed. Uh, your seals are old. But everything snaps to zero. It's behaving as it should, and in every way except for the case back pitting, it looks dead stock to me. I think this insert has been replaced because I can feel this edge a little bit, and that should be flush, but I'm not sure. Crystal has a couple scratches on it. Um, it's a good watch. It's definitely a good place to start cosmetically, and clearly it's functional. Uh, I would think that with a service, you'd be fine. Um, I really, I mean, there's not much else to say. The watch is clearly original. It's functional. Uh, the only thing to be aware of is the pitting in the case back, but I don't certify for uh, water immersion anyway, so that's neither here nor there. With new seals, it will certainly be better because the pitting doesn't go all the way across the movement face. It just seems to be on the edges. It's still not ideal, uh, but we'll put a seal in there and after cleaning the case and neutralize that corrosion and we should be fine. Okay, Scott, you let me know if you want me to go ahead. Thank you.